I'm Mike Lynch, uh, I'm a one-time academic, uh, technology entrepreneur, founder of Autonomy and Blinks, and now I um, invest in small European technology companies and hopefully make them big ones. Now I'm, I'm a technologist at heart, so um, the primary motivation in the early days is just to prove that the other guy's wrong and that uh, you're cleverer than they are. And then once you start to do that, you realise, well, this might be useful, how do we get it to be useful? But, you know, when I started, um, I would have been stunned at the idea that you could build a business worth £1 million, let alone a billion or £10 million. Technology people have a slightly different motivation often to uh, you know, people who are in the more general commercial world. My original research work was in pattern matching and getting computers to understand what data meant, and obviously that's grown into a very big field. Well, the first thing is don't worry about the noise and the chaos. So lots of people start by trying to clean everything. When you've got large amounts of data, that's far too expensive and it's a waste of time. The technology will normally deal with that. And then there are two things. There's optimization, which is about getting something to be as good as it can be, perhaps as low cost or as quick response to an emergency. And there's analytics telling you what's really going on. And those are the two methods that are very powerful when it comes to data. Well, the important thing about this whole area is that it can be very complex. There can be vast amounts to it. There can be all sorts of things to think about. Or you can forget all that and just go for the low-hanging fruit. It's an amazing time. Uh, technology is going for another phase. I think the internet is going to appear to have been the overture. I think when we look at what's happening with um, processing power, always on connectivity, mobile, augmented reality, um, we're going to see a whole new world of how we interact with information there. And the main thing is that the computers are starting to understand meaning. What does this video actually show? What did we just say? Uh, what does this piece of text in the newspaper mean? That's going to revolutionise everything. So lots of startups that you're seeing around these areas when the computers get clever. Um, the industry up to now has told everyone they need to buy what they're selling rather than what solves the problem. And uh, we're, all, we're like animals that are walking around without an immune system. And then the other revolution, which will be as big as the internet, is all around information around things like the genome and the metagenome and uh, combining that with clinical information to create personalised medicine. And you know, some of our major diseases are really going to see some very big changes as you start to apply data methods to the vast amounts of information that, for example, sequencing is going to give us. So when I started, um, I had a group of us and uh, we didn't know what we were doing, we were all academics, and uh, we didn't know anything about business and we got started and we um, learned as we went along and luckily we learned faster than running out of money and we stayed in business and carried on. And now I have the wonderful thing in Invoke of having a billion dollars. Um, people now take my phone calls, which they didn't used to in those days, and over the years my team have learned quite a lot about how to do things and they might, some people might say they're one of the premier management teams for technology uh, in the world. However, they have a big problem which is when someone walks in with an idea now, uh, they listen to it and then they tell me 28 reasons why it won't work. And you know what? Every reason is right because they're very, very good at what they do and they can analyse it. But the reality is I know if we'd walked in there 28 years ago, they'd have said, no, we won't invest. It's very easy to come up with reasons why not to do things. And the surest way not to achieve something is not to start it. So my advice to the charities is, just have a go.